match made in heaven is not your average reality show. It is the first ever series in the world which got a revealing look into the very closed and hidden world of the matchmaking of the ultra-religious Jews who still use the traditional way of getting to know your future mate. Israeli Academy Award winner Esti Zakheim, who herself is a reality show graduate after she participated in the last season of Dancing with the Stars, felt she had to come and see the show when she heard about its concept. I, I thought it's intriguing. I couldn't believe that uh, there'll, there'll be a reality series about, about uh, religious Jews, very ultra-religious, and about matchmaking there. I think in Israel, something about the, the population and, and being, you know, Jews and Arabs and religious and non-religious and everything is such a, a, a mix, an intriguing and, and, and interesting mix that reality can, can go on forever because all the time you find something different. Director-creator Ronnie Kay explains to us how this project came to be. All the religious people uh, that participated realized that the whole idea is about learning and watching and not judging, then the whole, you know, the whole concept became much more open and they, um, they managed to open and to be very honest in front of the cameras. Matchmaking is a precious subject in the Orthodox community, claims the producer of the show, Shai Werther, who feels very fortunate to have been able to capture it all on camera. This is a very, very uh, uh, a precious uh, subject uh, and they, they keep it very, very uh, close and, and, and they guard it with, like, you know, very, very, with, 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 much, with much care. And one of the, the amazing things that we found out uh, through the, the production was that um, they are like us. They are, normal people that, li that lives by very hard uh, and uh, strict codes and um, but but they have feelings they want to connect they want to find a soulmate they want to find the, the, the one and I was amazed those young people so serious so uh, so uh, mature so honest and and, and, and and focused about their uh, mission. The matchmaking has a lot of benefits because it lets you understand who is the compatible person for you, at least on paper. And then if you fall in love, that's like an extra bonus. So you know, like our grandmothers used to tell us, you have to pick and choose someone who will be compatible and not only use your heart. So that's what they're trying to do. Yaffa Parnas, the matchmaker on the show, admits she wasn't afraid to expose the hidden world of Orthodox Jewish matchmaking on reality TV. I'm not afraid that everybody would see it because uh, I know that everyone thinks it's from God. And if he make me to be in this show, so it's a shlichut, and uh, I will do this mitzvah for everybody who wants me, that I will help. So like with every reality TV project, we wanted to know what happened after the filming ended and how many of the couples actually eventually got married. Three of the couples of the show got married, the rest of them are still single and so am I. <laughs> the project, which was financed by Israeli satcaster Yes, was filmed for over two years and has gotten a lot of international buzz and now several TV networks around the globe are looking into making a localized version about their Jewish communities. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Match in Heaven premiere in Ramat Gan.